let's talk about Gay Lusak's Law. I get a ton of questions from followers that are like, ah, I'm studying for my FPC and I just can't grasp with these gas laws. Well, take heart. I promise it's not as hard as it initially seems when you first start learning them. So Gay Lusak's Law has actually been a thing for over 200 years. And it states that there's a directly proportional relationship when you have a constant volume of gas between the temperature and the pressure exerted on a gas. So right now I've got some Cuban pork in here cooking in my Instant Pot. It smells so good. I wish I could send you guys the smell through the internet, but you're just gonna have to trust me. I can drop the recipe in the comments. But what happens is I seal this. There's a constant volume. The volume of gas is not changing in here, but the heating element heats it up, which then expands the gas molecules that are inside of here. And then that pressure cooks my eight pound pork shoulder. And how this applies to flight is say your oxygen tank. Let's say you live in an area where there's a huge gradient of temperatures between day and night, someone who doesn't have as much humidity as we have right here in the Midwest where it just stays hot at night. And so let's say uh, at nighttime, you take a patient flight at two o'clock in the morning, you refill your oxygen tank to 1900 PSI. And then during the day when your helicopter is sitting on the pad, you've got the greenhouse effect going on with the sun shining into your aircraft and it greatly increases the temperature. And then all of a sudden you go on a flight, you hop in the helicopter and your main O2 tank says it's out of pressure of 2700 and you're like, what? why is it so full? Well, that's because of gay Lou Sachs law. You have the same volume of gas inside your tank, but because it got hotter, all of those gas molecules expanded, therefore increasing the pressure. So there you have it, gay Lou Sachs law.